Davis Nelkins, head men's basketball coach, Chris Cottrell. Coach, the burning question, how do you replace Devin Miller, GMAC leading scorer at 19.4 points per game last season? I don't think I expect anyone to come in and, and replace 20 points a game. We're going to depend quite a bit upon our culture, our system, the returning players, and, and having a recruiting class this year that's going to fit our style of play. We want to make sure that we play through one another, and I think we have enough returners coming back. You fill a void with guys understanding the system and the culture and how we're trying to score the basketball. Coach, as you move from year one to year two, what's the biggest lesson you learned as you move into year two this season? In year two, I think we've got to really be focused on the process. I think we did a good job last year of developing our young guys. We've got to have that same approach this year and really break you know, practices down by drills and, and games down by individual possessions and just try to dominate and play as well as we can on that particular possession you know, every single game and not getting caught looking too far ahead or too far behind, uh, just, just going forward. Coach, 18 games last season decided by six points or less. How do you win more of those games this season? I think you got to play more engaged. We have to, you know, number one, take care of the ball better overall. Uh, but number two, we got to play more tough. We got to play more together, and we've got to be committed, you know, to finishing games the right way on both ends of the floor. Coach, you bring in six freshmen this year. Um, a lot of guys running six four plus. Was size a priority? in the recruiting class this season? Absolutely. We think we have a system and a style of play that's uh, easy to recruit to. And the key to recruiting is to find guys that fit your system and fit your style of play, and, and then developing them to play to their potential and, and excel on the court within how you're trying to do things. And that was our focus. I think we did a great job of it. My assistant, Jay Reed, did a great job you know, getting us involved in a lot of guys. I think we, we closed the deal on a lot of good players that play well in the system and are going to develop as the years go on. Coach, final question today. Uh, the GMAC preseason polls have been released. So you're picked fourth in the conference. What are your thoughts? Uh, you know, it's flattering to pick, be picked fourth. I, I don't know that we're that good. It's a little surprising to me with, with six guys coming in as freshmen and returning six sophomores. We're still a young team. Um, you know, I think the preseason polls important in terms of giving you a, a benchmark for where you could be at. But inevitably, we just got to go play. You know, we got to be focused. You know, not so much on the result at the end of the year, but playing as well as we can play. You know, day in and day out. I'm just really worried about getting guys to play to their potential. Uh, I think the league's going to be strong again this year. It'll be pretty balanced. I think from top to bottom. Anybody, any given night last year could beat anybody as we saw and other teams saw. So we've got to just stay committed to doing things that we know are right, you know, here at Davis and Delkins and not getting caught up in, in everything going on around us. All right. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. I think it's gonna be okay with all